Hey everyone, I've got another tutorial for you and this is an exciting one. I want to go to insert images first. I am going to show you how to make your print then cut larger than the 8 by 6 or 8 by 5 and a half inches that's available in uh, in your design space or on your mats. I'm just going to pick out a couple of images here. We will pick out one that doesn't work and then a couple that will work so that you can see. I obviously can't type and, <laughs> and talk at the same time so that you can see what does work and what doesn't work and it might save you some frustration. Not that I can't guarantee you won't have any along the way as I did when I was trying to figure this out. The image I did as a sample is a Vintage Butterfly by Anna Griffin. She has vintage butterflies, uh, birds, and flowers that are realistic looking, and they are very pretty. And they, are, they are all print and cuts, so we will use that, and that's the image I chose. It is Anna's Vintage Butterflies, the orange butterfly. And I am going to insert these images I have chosen. Okay, for the moment we will hide those two. I'm going to show you the one that does not work first. Okay, I know you're saying, well, obviously it has to be flattened. Well, we're going to find out. Let's insert our squares. We are going to, we are going to use these for slicing, but we need to unlock the dimensions because we're going to make it into a rectangle. And we'll go about five and a quarter inches by eight inches. And that should um, cover what the space would be allowed on your mat. So uh, if you hit the minus on the magnification here, it is easier to see your images when we enlarge them because I'm going to make him much bigger. Okay, our rectangle I need to copy and then we're going to need several so I'm going to paste them. You only need to hit copy once and then you can hit paste as many times as you like. Okay, let's move those over to the right to just to get them out of the way for now. Okay, Mr. Donald here, we're going to make him large. Now, you could, if you divide it up as layers, you could cut him as a single layer cut image. I've got a video about that, and I will link that below. But to do a print then cut, you will only be able to print him if you print within the parameters of, I believe it's five and a half by eight inches on on Chrome and then 5x8 on some of the others, or 6x8, I think, is on Firefox and Safari. But, um, and then you can print and cut him within those parameters. Okay, well, there's a flatten. Yeah. You flatten him, he becomes a print image. Okay, and so your 6x8 or 5.5x8 would fit. But, to make him larger, we need to use the slice feature because we will have to divide him up on different mats. And here's what happens with him. There's no slice. And the reason there is no slice is because he is a flattened set. So he is not going to slice for us. So anything that says flattened set is not going to work. You're going to see these other images here, orange butterfly, Kringle candy factory sign. Neither one of those say set, so they will work. 
Okay, we can send Donald away. And we'll move over here to the Kringle Candy Factory. And we'll enlarge this sign. You can go as large as you like. With this, it'll just take more slices and more mats. Right now, I've got this at 22.7 inches in width. So it's much larger than what your print and cut would allow, but we're going to see if this would slice. First, we need to move that out of the way. Okay, I'm going to select both images because I can only slice through two layers. So that would be the rectangle and the sign. And the sign's a flat image. You go over to layers and slice is available. So I am going to slice that. It comes up black at first and sometimes it takes a while to change and then you think, oh, it's not working. Well, sometimes you just have to be patient. We'll get rid of the excess there and you see that image worked. Okay, we're going to move over and do our butterfly. I also want to let you know that any uploaded image should work also because they are seen as a single layer picture or whatever. So they should work as a print then cut. Okay, we will edit and I believe I made my sample one 14 inches and I will keep his proportions the same which makes him almost seven inches in height. Now you can do this 60 inches, 80 inches, however many you want but it will take more slices and more mats and I'll talk more about that later. Now when you do your slicing you've got to kind of think of it like a quilter thinks of a quilt. You know, they're putting together s small rectangles, triangles, circles, whatever, and there will be seams. And those seams can either be a design element or they can be kind of camouflaged or disguised. So in the one I'm doing or the one I did, I wanted to keep the seams so they weren't very noticeable because when you you'll tape it together or you'll stick it down on something and and you might have to look close to see the seams I or you might not see them at all it depends on you know or you can make it in a mosaic mosaic thing so to make them less noticeable I want to center my first slice so I am going to select them both and align and hit center. Okay, now I move over to layers and I am going to slice that. What that does is it will give me equal uh, proportion on each wing so that when it's put together, you see, you know, you'll have, you might have little lines when you put your thing together. But um, as you saw in my picture, it really wasn't noticeable, um, not a huge amount, and it also gave the opportunity, like if I wanted to add dimension to this butterfly, I could, you know, kind of fold it back just a little bit at that crease. So it gave me that option too. I'm going to get rid of our waist here, this extra rectangle. There we go. Now you'll notice this is still one image. It's still the flattened image. So we do need to slice that. Okay. So I have to select the whole thing here, both wings, and we are going to slice through. Okay, the gray here, that's my box, my rectangles. So those can go and then we have our print then cuts. I am going to get rid of my extra rectangles here. I don't need them. And hit go. And 
we are waiting for it to come up. Okay, here's the first one. Middle, left and right. There's our butterfly. And they, each image will print off your computer and then cut on your mat. So it's pretty cool. Now there, when you're doing larger images, if you have more than six mats over here, if you've got something huge and you've sliced it up, let's say into 12 mats, uh, Design Space will only take six or seven mats over here. Any more than that, it, a banner comes up and it says your image is too large. So to get by that, what you would need to do is go back and you would need to hide, let's say you have 12 cuts, you would just hide six of them. And then you'd go to your go and your mat, when your um, six mats that were left would come up. The hidden images do not come up. And then you would print off those images and then go back and unhide the ones that were hidden and hide the ones you just printed. And then it will print the next six. And so with large images, you just need to remember hide the extra mats so that the design space is not overloaded. And there we go. Do not forget to save your images. Sometimes it is, um, you know, we get so involved with creating that we forget the save button. You hit save, type in the name of whatever you want to name your project, and then you hit save over here. We'll call this butterfly. You hit save over here and it says project saved successfully and then you can open a new file like that. Sometimes it will ask you again if you want to save what's on the previous mat. Just say no if you've already saved it. So I often forget to tell people that is to save your projects. Okay, I hope everybody has fun with this. Um, it opens up a whole new world and the reason I only did 14 inches across for my print and cut is that I did not want to use <laughs> all of my printer ink. <laughs> so otherwise I probably would have made it five feet across because it be fun to have that huge butterfly on the wall or something um, so anyway that is a new option to create with and I know several had asked about it everybody have a great a great Christmas that's all for now bye